Welcome back to MG Midget, the birth of a race car, chronicling the journey of uh, this car to the MG Owners Club Speed Series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to have a look at the rear quarter repair and also the A post repair in order to, to finish off uh, the bodywork around the, the floor and the sills. We're going to start with the rear wheel arch repair. This is the one in front of the wheel. As you can see, we've uh, welded to the inner sill and what I've done is mark up on the, uh, the remaining bodywork where the repair panel comes. So this is the repair panel that's uh, easily available. As you can see that will fit into, into there. Uh, but what I'm going to need to do is prep this area in order to receive the new panel uh, and then just make good here uh, so that that fits. Around the back end there's quite a big hole that's left here so we're going to have to do a patch repair there to remake the the inside and, and to seal that up. Uh, what I've also noticed is there's a, there's a bit of filler on this this panel here so I'm going to linish this back uh, and the, this metal will sit on top of the metal underneath on the wing so I'm going to seam weld across there then dress that back and it will require a little bit of filler for the, uh, for the step. So uh, that's going to be the plan of attack so let's have a go. So what I've done is put a bit of uh, well through primer and also uh, joggled back the top edge. I've prepared the repair piece, punched a few holes in ready for, for plug welding. One on the back edge there as well, which will be seam welded across the top. Uh, so when that now fits into place, uh, it'll fit just nicely flush with the outer sill. So next step is to clamp that all up uh, and use the welder just to tack it into place ready for uh, final weld. All tacked into place so now ready for final weld so I'll seam weld and then we'll all be ready for linishing back. All done, uh, fitted, welded in and dressed back. It's gonna need a little bit of filler uh, to smooth that line out. That's not too much of a problem. Uh, so, but that's solid metal now at the bottom. Nice and flush with the lower sill, which I'm pleased about and blended into the, the rear arch. So uh, quick coat of paint to protect the metal and then uh, onto the A-post. So uh, on inspection with the chisel, the A-post is, is actually worse than I'd hoped, certainly worse than the other side was. Uh, so I've got a repair panel here for the whole section. I'd only intended to use the bottom, but actually I might as well use the, the whole lot uh, to replace this corrosion here at the top. So uh, I've drawn the lines on where I'm going to cut. I'm going to slit across here and then down the side uh, and then up here to take the centre section out to see what I'm dealing with and then uh, decide what I'm going to do on this side in order to, to get this panel to fit. At the same time that'll give me access underneath uh, where I can see what repairing needs to be done. I've got a hinge for repair so uh, this, this is going to fit under here as well so it'll allow me to fit the hinge in the right place uh, prior to putting the cover on as well. So uh, let's get that metal off. Well, the good news is taking that cover off has shown me the inside and actually it's in fairly good condition. It was just this bit of rot at the top. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is cut this out in order that when we put the cover panel on, it'll replace all of this here. Uh, what I'm gonna do as well is trim this back and begin to just offer up the outer panel so I know that when that goes on, it's ready to go. So uh, let's see what that looks like. So I've cut back the A post now. I've left some metal on here. I'm gonna come plug weld through there. I'm gonna to have to seam weld along the top. Uh, cut back here so that I can put weld up against there. And then I'll put the repair panel in place. I'm gonna to have to tack this into place but it lines up nicely 
with uh, the, the supporting edge here uh, and also with the sill so I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, in terms of the A panel repair you can see there I've chopped out uh, and made the top to suit so now when, when that goes on I'm using this edge here as a line so when that lines up then up at the top that will butt up and I can tack on there so pleased with how it's come the only thing left to do now is when the hinge is in place this piece here was taken out so you can see there uh, so what I'm going to need to do is make up a small panel uh, to replace that which the outer a post will uh, will butt up against okay so next job is to tack the hinge in and make up that 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 piece of metal there so that's the hinge fitted and welded in finished back re-establish this edge so now should be able to to fit uh, the outer cover on for the for the uh, panel and then uh, tack that into place ready for final welding welded up and uh, linished back the a-post repair is complete more importantly got a nice smooth edge to our sill and uh, we've re-established the, the hinge in there. Uh, at the same time, what I've done is cut away this just to, so it doesn't foul the door in any way. It's not needed, so uh, tidied up that a little bit and established the weld here, ready for the windscreen to go back in. So overall pleased with that. Quick coat of uh, primer now and it's on to the next job.